In this video, we will see how you can buy Bitcoin offline in Milan. Reserve Bank of India suggests that Indians don't need crypto and Venezuelans are selling their petrol at half the price. So let's get started. The fashionable Milan has joined the digital revolution with a very fashionable two-way Bitcoin ATM. The ATM is located inside Bicocca village, a shopping center in Milan offering Italians to shop for Bitcoin as well as shoes or handbags or food. The ATM is in Italian, the very first ATM seen in that language. The machine sells Bitcoin for nearly 7,600 euros or $8,400 and you can buy Bitcoin for 8,200 euros which is worth over $9,000. That makes it a huge spread, so it's not something you would want to use for trading, but it is something you would use for instant cash to Bitcoin or Bitcoin to cash. Now that's useful for people who might not have a bank account or people who want to maintain privacy, but whoever took out this ATM is clearly betting it will make some huge profits. The Reserve Bank of India says that citizens do not need cryptos as the country's mainstream financial framework already has the working solution for cross-border remittances. The Indian Central Bank maintains that cryptos offer little utility while providing channels for illegal activity. RBI also said that virtual currencies have been used to purchase illegal and illicit goods ranging from guns and ammunition to drugs. Meanwhile, several research data show that crypto plays only a significantly small part in money laundering and other illegal financial activities. Crypto supporters argue that virtual currencies open up the financial sector, creating a more inclusive ecosystem. The RBI did, however, make it clear that cryptocurrency is currently not banned in India. Venezuelans are reportedly selling the state-launched Petro cryptocurrency that was airdropped to 6 million people recently. Though the government claims to have fixed the value of 1 PTR at $60, the market price on local bitcoins is reported to be only half of that. The government initially allowed the usage of Petro to buy products through a biometric app but it soon shut it down as people flooded to a few stores that supported it. Petro is currently facing extreme sell pressure as people want to buy food and Bolivar makes things easier. The price of Petro on Amber's coin, a local exchange, is only $30, which is half of what's fixed by the government. Thank you for watching Digi Asset Guru. This is Crypto Shinoi signing out.